Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Impact Pro Wrestling. Welcome back to another great Thursday night. And we have another great show for you planned here on this Thursday night here in the great city of Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our first match of the evening. Only one of the great matches we have planned for you tonight. We will see a member of the Alliance go up against a member of the Spark Brothers. Jeff Sparks, representing the Spark Brothers, will go one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Brock, representing the Alliance. Also tonight, we have this matchup. We will have the phenomenal one go one-on-one -on -one with the Ace. Simply, the man known as Ace here at Impact Pro Wrestling will go one-on-one -on -one with Peter Young. Now, this will be our third matchup of the evening. The Superman, Danny Myers, will go one-on-one -on -one with the reigning and defending Impact Pro Wrestling television champion, D.J. Summers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. One member of Beast's team, quote-unquote, called Long Road to Victory, that man being Christopher Bishop, will go one-on-one -on -one with one member of Justice's team, quote-unquote, called The Revolution, that man being Eddie Danger. This is our main event of the evening, and it is sure to be a great one. But right now, we are going to start off the night with our first match of the evening that I just told to you. It will be Bobby Brock, and it will be Jeff Sparks going at each other in that ring. And that match is coming up next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages it is time for all of us to start off the night and of course we're going to start this night with this great one-on-one -on -one matchup that matchup being between that man on the left one half of the impact pro wrestling tag team champions one half of the Alliance, that guy on the left, his name is Bobby Brock. That man on the right with the long hair, also one half of the Impact Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions, the other half of the champions, the other half of the Alliance, that man's name Cody Cole, coming down here to support his tag team partner here, his fellow champion. Guaranteed to be a great match between champion and definitely a, uh, a future challenger if they can get their act together. Now we have one of our competitors in the ring, that man right there, Bobby Brock. But now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, here comes his opponent. Of course, he's accompanied by his brother, his tag team partner, that man on the right, Riley Sparks, that man on the left is the man that will be competing in this matchup. And his name is Jeff Sparks. Of course, this tag team coming together to form the Spark Brothers, Jeff and Riley Sparks. Guaranteed to be a great matchup here. Bobby Brock, a very technical wrestler, very submission-based wrestler also. A great asset inside the ring, Jeff Sparks. Also great technical wrestler, great technically, but Jeff Sparks is definitely a huge striking based wrestler. He will knock your block off a hundred different times in under a second. It's going to be a good match here. It's going to be fun to see which one of these two may can come across victorious. Now it is about time for this match to begin. That's Bobby Brock, technical submission. That's Jeff Sparks, technical striking. Referee has rung the bell and this matchup will begin with Jeff Sparks delivering that nice running sling blade. Now, getting Bobby up and delivering the Uranagi slam. 
And you can see quickly Jeff Sparks coming right out of the gate with the aggression. Headlock right here on Bobby with a nice uppercut. Irish whip. And now Bobby Brock being sent all the way to the outside of the ring. Cody Cole backing off. He doesn't want to get Bobby Brock eliminated here. That would be an automatic victory for Jeff Sparks. Now yeah, look at this. Looks like Bobby Brock has found his mojo here. After slamming Jeff Sparks into the apron. An elbow to the back of the head. And now Bobby sending Jeff's face right into the mat on the outside. Nice elbow drop right here by Bobby Brock. You can see some strikes there, but Jeff Sparks avoiding the strikes. Jeff applying this headlock here on the outside of the ring, but the referee is approaching the 10 count here. These men have got to get back inside the ring. And both these men do get back into the ring. Referee had a nine count before this match can continue the way it was intended to. Pinball turn right here by Jeff. But Bobby able to kick out. Referee didn't even count to one before he was able to kick out. Jeff Sparks with that nice face rake right there. That face claw applying some big damage here now. Bobby Brock headlock and a punch to the head here. Oh look at this. Bobby now just stomping down on Jeff Sparks. Now getting Jeff on his feet. Snap there. Nope. Reversal right there by Riley. I'm sorry by Jeff. Jeff delivering a big chop, keeping Bobby down to the mat, and a big kick right through that leg. Riley Sparks and Cody Cole, uh, primarily staying out of this matchup, have not gotten involved yet. You can see Bobby Brock with that nice spear, sending Jeff Sparks all the way to the outside of the ring. Now Bobby gonna go chase him here. Great move right there by Bobby Brock, delivering that flying clothesline from the apron. And you can see Riley Sparks backing up here. Not going to want to get his tag team partner and brother in trouble here. Nice running shoulder block right there by Bobby Brock. Looks like these two men really enjoying it on the outside of the ring here. Great reversal right there by Jeff Sparks. Jeff's trying to get Bobby up, but Bobby, nice shoulder block reversal right there. Referee currently out of six count. These men have got to get back into the ring eventually. And now Bobby Brock choosing to get back in the ring right now as he sends Jeff Sparks in the ring and then follows. Bobby Brock here measuring Jeff Sparks. Got a plan. He's going to go to the second rope. Looks like Bobby's going to fly with the elbow drop. Going under the second rope one more time. Looks like going for another uh, an elbow drop this time. But not able to connect, but still able to get the control. Snapmare right there. And now look at this. Bobby Brock showing off his technical skills, technical prowess. As he delivers his great headlock here. Slowing down the pace of this matchup. Keeping Jeff Sparks guessing here. Fast pace, slow pace. Bobby Brock keeping it both paces here. Switching it up. It looks like Jeff breaking out of that headlock, trying to find his own way through here. Now look at this. Jeff Sparks showing up his own technical skill as he applies the headlock to Bobby. But Bobby, the superior technical wrestler here, definitely, as he breaks out of it with ease. Jeff being sent into his own corner here. Oh, look at this. But Jeff able to fight out of it. Big knee, big clothesline. Now a pinfall right here on Bobby. Only able to get one before Bobby was able to kick out. Once again, Jeff Sparks delivering the face claw. Now look at this. Bobby just got hit with the snake eyes. Jeff Sparks going up. Second rope. He's going to fly. And he's going to fly with this. Oh, we're going to go for the knee strike, but Bobby Brock able to avoid it. Here comes Bobby Brock with a Tiger Bomb. But Jeff Sparks able to roll out of this. He's not going to let Bobby get full control here as he sets up Bobby Brock on the top rope. Putting those legs on the outside. And it looks like Jeff Sparks is prepared for a superplex. He's measuring for a superplex in the position. 
And he delivers a superplex. From the tippity top of the rope to the dead center of the ring. Superplex, pinfall accompanied, but pinfall unsuccessful. Only able to get the two count. Face claw one more time here. And look at that, a great back suplex slam performed right there by Jeff Sparks. Now look at this, Jeff showing off his striking game. A series of strikes ending with a big knee strike. But Bobby Brock not gonna let the strikes be the end of him as he blows off Jeff Sparks. Nice rake to the back now getting Jeff on his feet, sending him back to the mat with that back suplex. And now just slamming Jeff Sparks' face right into this canvas. Now look at this. Bobby Brock measuring Jeff here. Jeff's on his feet. And look at this. Bobby Brock setting up for the Brock Lock. The inverted Boston Crab. The Brock Lock is being locked in. And Jeff Sparks has got no choice but to tap out. Ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of you will never be in that submission maneuver but a lot of you will have the opportunity in your life to go and meet Jeff Sparks and meet and greet or just on the street ask him about the Brock Lock ask him about how painful that submission move is and you will have to understand once you're in that submission move if someone doesn't break you out of it if you're not at the ropes you will tap out in seconds and that's exactly what happened here the Brock Lock was the end of Jeff Sparks. It was a great matchup. Honestly thought that Jeff Sparks had him here when he delivered that quick series of strikes ending with the knee strike. But when the Brock Lock is on, he's got those legs, the inverted Buster Crab, and he continues to wrench it and it hurts more and more. You either tap or snap. Good for Bobby Brock here, gaining a big victory here. And a great matchup. We have concluded one amazing matchup. And now it's trying to move on to another matchup. That won't be amazing, but it will be phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to move on to our second match of the evening. We are going to see Ace. Go one on one with the phenomenal one, Peter Young. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are about to have our matchup between Peter Young and an ace. However, it appears that Johnny Starr would like to come down to the ring. It looks like he's already doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know his name. He is the all star of Impact Pro Wrestling. Welcome down to the ring at this time, Johnny Starr. Johnny Starr has got to have something to say. If I were to guess, it would have to be uh, something related to Peter Young attack on him last week. Peter Young came out to the ring through the crowd. And attack Johnny Star. Looks like Johnny Star gonna come out here and say something about it. Just before Peter Young's match, we know Peter Young is here. We'll see what Johnny Star has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Johnny Starr's called out Peter Young. We do know that Peter Young is in the building. He has a matchup tonight. Looks like we're going to get a confrontation. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes the phenomenal one. Here comes Peter Young. Looks like we are going to get a confrontation here between the all-star and the phenomenal one. 
of course, uh, BD Young dressed for competition. He was planning to have a matchup. Hopefully that matchup will still take place. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see Peter Young coming down to the ring. Let's see what uh, what Peter Young, the phenomenal one, has to say to the all-star Johnny Starr. Gotta commend Johnny for taking this head on. Question is exactly what will conspire here. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like we have another matchup for Warzone. It will be Peter Young and Johnny Starr. Their second matchup, and it's got to be twice as good as the first one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this matchup soon to start. We already have Peter Young in the ring. We are just waiting his opponent here. And here he comes right now, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes Ace. Peter Young's got to focus on this matchup. It's perfectly understandable that he would be focused on the major announcement that we just got here. That he will be going one-on-one -on -one once again with the all-star Johnny Star in two weeks at our next pay-per-view, Warzone. Perfectly understandable that that would be on his mind. But he's got to focus on this match right here. This match. One-on-one -on -one with Ace. He cannot afford to look too far ahead. If he looks too far ahead, he will get caught right now by Ace. And Ace is far from a pushover. Ace is far from a simple jobber. You do not want Ace to dominate you here. Now that is the phenomenal one. That is Ace. The referee... Has rung the bell. This matchup has begun. Peter Young delivering that nice running DDT to start off the match. Aggressively DDT and then the knee right to the face. Ace getting set up on one knee. Peter Young going for an overhand shot. Oh, and jumping complete shot. You can see Ace taking a quick moment out, out there outside of the ring. Now getting back into the ring. Just so Peter Young can continue his assault with a nice series of punches, all ending with a good kick right to the gut. Jumping clothesline attempt right there by Peter Young. Looks like he couldn't get all of it though. Gave Ace time to deliver a nice clothesline, but Peter Young is still in control. Just going for a running forearm. But Ace able to avoid it, delivering a move of his own, sending Peter Young down. The strikes are coming in from all angles here as Ace delivers a strong series of elbows. Now slamming Peter's face right into the canvas and locking in this cross face here. But it's a little bit too early right here for any kind of submissions as Peter Young is able to fight out of it with a knee to the back of the head and a punch to the face but Ace still in control with this Irish whip great move right there by Ace Ace trying to go for maybe a knee strike but no Peter Young able to reverse with that nice hip toss going for the pinfall but Ace able to kick out at one 
Peter Young with this nice oh look at that looks like Ace just ran over Peter Young right there but Peter Young still in control able to reverse it here now Peter going to the outside for a springboard cross body right there on Ace looks like he couldn't get the exact mark here but he got enough of it as Peter takes control Sending Ace right to himself once again with that rebound Irish whip. Just deliver a huge knee right to the gut. Ace trying to fight back. Big boot right to the face. But Peter still taking control. Irish whip bang. Ace into that corner. Setting up Ace. Top rope. Tippity top rope. And Ace just got a huge top rope cutter. Delivered. Same day delivery by the phenomenal one. Peter Young with a nice stomp. And now Peter Young still taking control, raking the eyes of Ace. And here comes Peter with some strong shots right to the face. Peter getting Ace on one knee. And you can see Ace fighting back. Ace delivering a huge clothesline, sending Peter Young all the way to the outside of the ring. Peter a little bit groggy there, able to sit up, and now finally able to get up. Peter Young throwing Ace over to the timekeeper area. And now sending him right into that ring post and slamming his face right into that ring post, that steel ring post. Ace though trying to fight back here, delivering a nice running Bulldog. Referee currently at a five count. Nice slam right there by Ace. Now Ace getting back into the ring. And leaving it now. Resetting the referee's count. This matchup will continue. Currently on the outside of the ring at the referee. Currently at a two count. Ace throwing Peter Young back to where this all began. Now getting on top of Peter's back and delivering some strong clubbing strikes right to the face. Referee coming out of seven count. But you can see Peter Young throwing Ace back into the ring. Now getting back to the ring himself. Delivering a strong strike. Throwing Ace into that corner. Oh, look at that. Going for a move there, but Ace able to avoid it. And Ace delivering a power bomb and delivering an elbow drop. Pinfall right here by Ace. Got the leg hooked. Only able to get two before Peter Young was able to kick out. Ace setting up here for a reverse DDT. Going for something here, but Peter Young. Shoulder block reversal. Snapmare right there on Ace. And now Peter applying this headlock right here on Ace. Wrenching it in hard. Slowing down the pace here. Peter Young doing the damage here. Wrenching that headlock on Ace. Now letting him go. Both men back up to their feet. Snapmare right now by Ace. Locking the hands of Peter Young behind him. And this hold in here, but Peter Young finding a way to set himself free. Peter Young delivering a knee to the back and Russian leg sweep. Now Peter gonna get Ace on his feet so Peter can deliver the PDT. The PDT, ladies and gentlemen, the signature move of the phenomenal one. Oh, look at this going for a neck breaker, but Ace able to avoid it. Urinagi slam by Ace. Now Ace just slamming Peter Young's face right into that canvas. 
Here comes a German suplex by Ace. Now Ace trying to get Peter Young on his feet. Peter on his feet, but reversing Ace. And it looks like Peter Young may have something planned here, but he couldn't get it off as Ace was able to avoid it. Looks like Ace just reversed the Young Forever, the finishing move of Peter Young. As Ace stalks Peter Young, trying to get control here, trying to come up with a game plan. Ace delivering strong clubbing strikes right to the face of the Phenomenal One. Ace now taunting Peter Young. Going for a stomp there, but Peter Young able to avoid it, sending Ace right into that corner. And now it looks like he's gonna set up Ace tippity top rope for a top rope cutter right there. A great move right there by the Phenomenal One. Going for a pinfall, will that cutter be enough for the three count? Enough for a two. And just barely enough for a three count. You can see Peter Young arguing with the referee. That was super close. You can see Peter Young now. Tippity top rope. He's going to fly. And he's going to fly with this. Chop. Right to the top of the head of Ace. Snapmare right here. By... Peter Young going for a headbutt, but Ace able to reverse it. Taunting Peter Young. Spinning complete shot right there by the phenomenal one, Peter Young. Oh, and look at that. Peter Young flying to the outside with a running cross body. Peter Young going for that fist drop, but Ace able to avoid it. Nice drop kick right there, performed by the Phenomenal One. Oh, look at that. Peter Young delivering a fist drop all the way to the outside of the ring. Peter Young now getting up on one knee. And now on his feet here. Look at this. Peter Young taking a minute on the outside of the ring to attack that leg. And now a stomp right to the stomach of Ace. And look at this. Reverse DDT. Oh, and look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Peter Young just taking the cheap way out, the cheap victory. Ladies and gentlemen, we were having a great match. And Peter Young just had to spoil it here with that cheap victory over Ace, letting Ace just lie down on the outside while he gets back in the ring, doing damage on the outside and then immediately getting back into the ring just in time for the 10 count. That is no way to win a match. That's not phenomenal in any sense of the word. We're definitely having a great match here. Moves of plenty. But however way you want to look at it, Peter Young is indeed the winner of this one-on-one -on -one matchup. There you see the phenomenal one celebrating center of that ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we just had one epic matchup between Ace and Peter Young, and now it's time for another one here. It's time for the Superman to go one-on-one -on -one with the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. It's going to be Danny Myers and DJ Summers. This match is coming up next and it is sure to be a great one. All right, 
ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our third match of the evening. Now, this third match, just as the other two have been, guaranteed to be great matches. Especially this one, because this one does involve the reigning and defending Impact Pro Wrestling Television Champion. It involves this man right here. We all know him as D. J. Summers. And of course, you see DJ still here entertaining all these fans and still with that IPW television championship on his waist. That championship to be defended by DJ Summers Sunday, a few weeks from now, at Warzone. Of course, that will be Jackson Wright's automatic rematch clause for that championship. It will be Jackson Wright's last chance to maintain championship status here, getting that championship back and becoming the two-time IPW television champion if he can win that matchup. Now you gotta wonder exactly what DJ's thinking here. DJ first he was attacked by Jackson Wright. The week following, DJ Summers was given a message by Jackson Wright. First it was a physical, then it was a verbal. One's got to wonder if DJ's got a message for Jackson. Now we have DJ Summers in the ring. And you got to know that he is definitely prepared for this matchup. It is guaranteed to be a great one, ladies and gentlemen. You can see him still entertaining all these fans in attendance. DJ Summers, he may be champion. And he may be an entertaining guy, but you do not want to step into that ring and doubt him in any way. And there is all the entertainment you need when you're talking about DJ Summers. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like DJ is... Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, a huge development here on Impact Pro Wrestling. It looks like we are going to have an Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship matchup. Sean Sloan not coming out to, to stop this. Nothing being said here, I'm not hearing anything. It looks like we are going to have an IPW Television Championship match between Danny Myers and DJ Summers. Danny Myers isn't going to be the one to stop this matchup. The most entertaining man in IPW, DJ Summers, offering up this championship match. And it's, 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 it's spontaneous. In an attempt to send a message to Jackson Wright. 
Now what that message is, we, we can't be 100% sure. He didn't explain the message. But we can see it right here. We'll see what happens during this matchup. Danny Myers, a huge opportunity just came his way. We'll see what he can do with this massive opportunity. Danny Myers looks pumped up for this matchup, and it's guaranteed to be a great one. It's guaranteed to be a hard-fought battle between both of these guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it looks like we're about to have an Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship matchup here. This matchup will be between the uh, the challenger, this man right here. He is the Superman of Impact Pro Wrestling, and his name is Danny Myers. Big opportunity for Danny, and a big test here for his opponent, the champion, the opposite of the challenger. He is the reigning and defending Impact Pro Wrestling television champion. He is the most entertaining man in Impact Pro Wrestling. He is DJ Summers. DJ Summers giving that championship over to the referee. Sending it over to Danny for one quick moment. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what this championship is all about. The Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship. A spontaneous championship matchup, but it's going to be a great one. I guarantee you that referee has rung the bell, and these men are about to go at it. Starting off with a shoulder and elbow tie-up. Clean break here. Headlock right here by Danny Myers. Headlock takedown. Punch right to the face here. Showing some uh, some skill here. As DJ going to send Danny Myers flying all around the world. Superman's been there all the time. But this time, Danny Myers sends Superman flying. Now Danny going to hit those ropes. Going for a move there. But DJ not able to get it off. Now Danny sending DJ into those ropes. Went for that forearm. Couldn't get all of it. Looks like he got enough of it though. Headlock right here on Danny. I'm sorry, on DJ. Now DJ getting dominated right here by Danny. Early control. Now this is the thing that DJ cannot afford to do. DJ cannot afford to face this kind of punishment by Danny Myers. DJ does not want to get in a striking battle with Danny Myers. Danny Myers will win the striking battle. DJ with a big kick right to the gut and then the nice neck breaker. Big punch right to the gut. Stunning Danny and now going for the suplex. Danny trying to get up to his feet in that corner but DJ stopping going for the reverse DDT but Danny reversing it turning into a DDT of his own. Now Danny dragging DJ Closer to the ring, setting him up here, turning him around, big knee, big clothesline. Big knee, big clothesline, version 2.0. Great move right there, great series of strikes by Danny. Now going for a move, but DJ reversing it, turning it into a reverse DDT. DJ Summer is going to hit the ropes as he delivers that leg drop. Overhand shot blocked by Danny. Going for a forearm shot. And now Danny showing off his striking prowess as he shows off those strong shots right to the face. DJ taking a moment. Getting outside of the ring here. DJ and Danny going at it on the outside of the ring. And Danny delivering a nice Uranagi slam. DJ avoiding that kick attempt. Knee to the back of the head. Neck 
breaker. Nice shot to the gut right there. Now Danny Myers fighting back. Nice big shot right to the face. Takedown. And the fist raining down on DJ Summers. Now Danny getting DJ up on his feet. And Danny sending DJ Summers back into the ring. DJ with a nice reversal right there. Big kick. Going for a move there. Look at this. Danny had DJ on his shoulders. But DJ fighting back with some nice strong elbow shots. And an overhand shot right to the back of Danny Myers. And here comes DJ with a nice suplex. Now look at this right here. DJ Summers setting up Danny in this camel clutch position. He got one knee on it. And Danny able to break away here. Look at this Danny with a nice elbow. Nice reversal. DJ nice face crusher reversal of his own. Going for a slam, but Danny able to reverse. Sending him into that corner. DJ nice reversal attacking the back of the leg. And DJ wins out in the end with that nice back suplex. Here comes DJ Summers. Popping Danny up and slamming him down. One more time. Popping him up. Slamming him down. Now DJ Summers still in control here. Nice big punch right to the gut. But Danny Myers quickly taking control. Irish whipping DJ right into the corner. Double axe handle to the back. Now setting up DJ tippity top rope. But DJ able to reverse. And he's going to fly with a cross body from the top rope. Pinfall attempt right here by DJ. Danny Myers able to kick out though. This matchup will continue. DJ still in control here. Putting some pressure on the back of Danny Myers. Kick to the gut and spinning cutter. Now we've seen that before. Now we know that that is used normally to set up the finishing move of DJ Summers, the get down. Neck breaker right there by DJ. And there's a snapmare. Oh, you can see this right here. Now DJ taking some time setting up Danny Myers here. Arms behind his head here. Or the hands behind his head as DJ wrenches hard with his knee on the back of the Superman. Still wrenching right here as that knee is on the back. Now it looks like... This right here, it looks like DJ Summers is about to apply the finishing move. Ladies and gentlemen, Superman is about to get down. Pinfall right here by DJ Summers. One, two, three. Center of that ring, DJ Summers. Successful, spontaneous defense of the Impact Pro Wrestling Television Championship. A great matchup here and a spontaneous one that this match was just so great. Danny Myers put on one hell of a show, but DJ Summers definitely proving here he is a champion and he deserves to be one. Now we do see DJ Summers here grabbing a mic. Looks like DJ's got something to say. And I think it's time that we all heard what DJ Summers has to say here, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see right here, DJ Summers showing off to all of the Impact Pro Wrestling wrestlers in the back and all of the Impact Pro Wrestling fans here in attendance and the ones watching at home. He definitely had a statement and he made it clear here with this one-on-one -on -one matchup. The winner of this matchup, still your Impact Pro Wrestling television champion, DJ Summers, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, ladies.
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we just had a monumentously amazing championship matchup. Now, that match didn't end the night. This match will end the night. This is our main event of the evening. Christopher Bishop representing his team, quote-unquote, called the long road to victory against Eddie Danger representing his team, quote-unquote, called the revolution. It's going to be Christopher Bishop. It's going to be Eddie Danger going one-on-one. -on -one. This is our main event, and it's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is time for our main event of the evening. Our main event will consist of one third, one third of both of the teams that will be going head to head at Warzone. This is the one third that will be participating here, representing the team known as Long Road to Victory. And the representative in this match will be Christopher Bishop. Christopher Bishop coming down to the ring only made his quote unquote return to Impact Pro Wrestling recently. Guaranteed to us really put on a show here. He's going to have to do very well to represent his team here. Henry Long also on his team. Beast on his team, although Beast not out here. Christopher Bishop still playing to the crowd here. But I don't think he realizes that this is who the crowd is cheering for. That's Justice on the right. And that's Eddie Danger on the left. Eddie Danger, the, uh, the representative for his team, quote unquote, called The Revolution. Of course, we know Justice now starting this revolution faction here in Impact Pro Wrestling. And Eddie Danger being the first man to join that revolution, to join this new faction here. This is the revolution, ladies and gentlemen. And it is coming, it is here. Ladies and gentlemen, this matchup is about to begin. That's Christopher Bishop. That is Eddie Danger. And this matchup has just begun, ladies and gentlemen. Shoulder and elbow tie here to start off this matchup. Eddie Danger pushing Christopher Bishop into that corner. Referee trying to separate them. And Christopher Bishop taking a little, little toll, a little disrespect to Eddie Danger. Bishop setting up Danger against those ropes and throwing them back close to the center of the ring. Big kick right to the gut of Eddie Danger. Now Eddie hitting those ropes. But Eddie's still able to, uh, to get on his feet here, not letting Christopher get his move off. Now Christopher doing the same thing with Eddie here. Oh, look at that. Irish whip rebound leg lariat. Nice backstabber right there by Christopher Bishop. Going for the pinfall. Not even able to get one right there. Big kick right to the gut of Eddie Danger. Eddie trying to fight back. Boot to the face. Snapmare. Hitting the ropes. Drop kick to the face. This might be Eddie's time here. Taking advantage here. Overhand shot. And a nice double handed bulldog. Now Eddie setting up right here for a reverse DDT. Making sure Christopher is on one knee. Going for a move there, but Christopher fighting back with a nice punch to the gut. And running monkey flip. Pinfall right here by Christopher Bishop. Eddie Danger able to kick out. Now Christopher climbing up to the second rope here. And he wants to fly. And he's going to fly with a leg lariat from the second rope. Now Eddie taking a moment here. Rolling out of the ring. Looks like Eddie wasn't prepared for the power of Christopher Bishop. But now he's back into the ring. And delivering a Northern Light suplex.
Bishop back on his feet just to be shot down by Eddie Danger in that hard knee strike. Now look at this, Eddie setting up Christopher in the clove relief here. Although he has to release it almost immediately as Christopher Bishop is way too close to those ropes. Christopher with a nice elbow right into the gut. And Oklahoma slam. Christopher taking a moment in that corner. Now just kicking down Eddie Danger, make sure he stays on the ground. Turning over Eddie Danger. And Christopher Bishop now going up to that second row for the rolling senton. Going for a move here, but Eddie able to reverse, sweeping the leg of Christopher Bishop, going for the pinfall right here, but Christopher Bishop able to kick out. Here comes Eddie. Nope. Bishop able to reverse. Clothesline reversal. And there's an elbow drop right there by Christopher Bishop. Pinfall right here by Bishop. He's got one. But Eddie Danger still able to kick out. Bishop now getting Eddie on his feet. Going for a slam here. Running him right into that turnbuckle and the running power slam. Bishop getting Eddie on his feet. Overhand shot blocked by Eddie. Forearm shot. Now Eddie doing some damage here with these strong strikes. Finishing it off with those double axe handles. Eddie trying to play the fans here, trying to get the fans to show him some support. You can see Bishop fighting out of this, this attempt right here by Eddie Danger. Overhand shot once again blocked by Eddie Danger. Oh look at this, he got Christopher on his shoulders and he delivered the stun gun on those ropes. Now Bishop back on his feet one more time, overhand shot by Eddie. Christopher able to reverse shot to the back of Eddie and here comes an atomic drop Eddie danger once again rolling outside of the ring justice taking some space here does not want to get involved in this matchup Eddie sending Bishop right into that apron here and now Eddie Gonna use Bishop to slam him against the ring post. And he delivers a knee right to the back of the head of Christopher Bishop. Once again, slamming Bishop's face right into that steel ring post. And now sending Bishop back into the ring. Getting Bishop on his feet. Overhand shot blocked by Bishop. Now Bishop with an elbow shot, taking Eddie into that corner. Rebound, throwback, nope. Double-handed bulldog right there. Now Bishop getting Eddie on his feet and setting him up here in those ropes. Here comes the rope hung DDT. He had him set up for it. But he's going to continue his assault here with a nice, quick DDT, locating him center of that ring. Now here comes Bishop, breaking the face of Eddie Danger against the mat, and then setting up for that nice elbow drop. Pinfall right here by Christopher Bishop. Eddie able to kick out. Eddie's still fighting here, showing his resiliency, but he may not have enough resiliency for this, as Christopher Bishop looks like he's setting up for his finishing move. Bishop, Buster, pinfall, center of that ring, one, two, Eddie Danger able to kick out though, Eddie Danger coming up with the shoulder up, kick, dodged by Eddie Danger going for a move here, but Bishop able to reverse it, and Bishop delivering a back suplex. Bishop getting Eddie on his feet and 
single knee backbreaker right there by Christopher Bishop. Snapmare right here by Bishop. Going for a head butt, but Eddie Danger able to reverse it here. Overhand shot by Eddie. Turning over Bishop and setting up for the torture. Rack back stabba. We've seen that move many times here at Impact Pro Wrestling. We know that when that move connects, something else is coming here. Look at this. Here it is. Welcome to the Danger Zone, Christopher Bishop. Pin four right here by Eddie Danger. One, two, three. And ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Christopher Bishop has just been welcomed into the Danger Zone. A great match here performed by both of these guys. Eddie Danger really showing his strength here. Showing his own resiliency and showing his determination to come out of this match victorious. This man kicked out of a Bishop Buster. This man was put through hell by Christopher Bishop. One hell of an athlete, one hell of a wrestler. But on this night, Eddie Danger was just the better man. Eddie Danger celebrating for himself and celebrating for the revolution here. This is a win for the revolution. And it's got to look good for their matchup coming up at Warzone. Congrats to Eddie Danger on this great victory.